back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Last time we made it into the castle for the first time, the proper castle, that is. Then we met up with the other best character in this game, Ramon Salazar, who I absolutely love. Uh, oh, right, just going to check and see if we can actually go through this door yet, but we can't. So we're going to have to go this way. There's some stuff in this room. Like this handgun ammo sitting on the chair. Behind the corner of the Saddler is a 5,000 pesetas. Um, you might also hear that. Um, there's also a note here, which is a... Uh, Luis is on the loose, and they want to capture him again. Another yellow up here. Unfortunately, I don't have a green orb to combine it with, so... Now... Actually, I think that's only there so that you can use it against the enemies later, but I wasted it. I shot it before there were even any enemies in this room. Grab those pesetas. Up there, there's a the thing of shotgun shells which you can only get if you shoot it down. My dumbass here forgot that there was actually a key you need to grab here. So... You actually need to go in here and take this key from this point. Luckily, we have the key. Wait. I leave Ashley behind here for a very specific reason, but one that uh ends up not going so great. Uh, that's a friendly-looking fellow. No, no I also need to reload my riot gun. And also need to be very quick, because those shotgun shells, I feel like we're about to despawn. Okay. Now, we need to hit that lever. So that requires us to go into that cage with, uh, that thing. That right there is a Garador. And these guys are pretty damn dangerous every time you run into them. Thankfully, you don't run into them that often. <laughs> See, it's got big fucking Wolverine claws. Which it out managed to strike me with there. Here I decide to be kind of wasteful and then I use a big triple move on that. I don't know, maybe that's not wasteful. Uh, as you can see, the guard only has a single key spot on his back. Literally hitting him anywhere else, I don't think does. Unfortunately, he ended up getting stuck right next to Ashley, which means that, uh, yeah. I don't know if he's actively attacking Ashley or not, or if he was just, like, swinging around and hit her by accident, but she's dead. So we gotta do this again. Luckily, you don't have to do the whole puzzle again, you just have to do the, uh, Wait. part with the guard or again. Which is good, I don't really want to do the whole get the key thing again. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you, I know what you're dealing with. Get out of here and fucking fight me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, this is the right way this time. Now, he can't he can't see, so uh he's he's entirely based around hearing. Come on, turn around. Of them in the game. 
Uh, but you, you, I think, run into one more uh, in uh, separate ways. So if you're playing that, you're going to have to watch out for these guys again. These are also the main reason why I hate the castle stage in the mercenaries. Stop it. Because uh, these guys are the elite enemy of the castle stage in the mercenaries. I don't know if he's actually good or not, but... Satan, not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm gonna combine these and use it to give a health boost. And Follow I'm gonna go get Ashley. Also, because of I uh, have to grab this, which now has shotgun shells and not and send me to pain. And here I am about to do another smooth brain moment because I was uh, rushing this way and I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. I have to go back this way. I have to actually go shut the fire off. Such an idiot. Shut off the fire. Allows me to go through that way, but we're not gonna go that way quite yet because uh, that direction can, to be frank and honest, go fuck itself. Also, doing this will cause more. Will cause us. Not to not show up, so. Don't let your guard down just yet. <laughs> Luckily, neither of these two turned into a plaga. One of them dropped rifle ammo, which is very, very nice. Good shot, so I got. Oh shit! I was terrified that was gonna hit Ashley. If that hit her, that would have killed her. I Okay, killed one, didn't kill the other one, but I did manage to at least injure him enough to get him to back off for a second. Which means that I can just finish him off with a single shot from the Blacktail. Blacktail is badass like that, and I also, you know, dealt a whole lot of damage to him with the rifle. Also, this guy's got dynamite, so I gotta be careful. I don't know how that didn't hit, actually, but I'm not complaining. Okay, up ahead here is the dreaded fucking water room, which we're not gonna do quite yet. Because, uh, to be frankly honest, the water room is another room that's designed entirely to drain your resources, and I hate it. Any room in this game that does that where it's entirely designed to drain your fucking resources is a stupid room, and I don't like them. What we're actually trying to do first here is go back to the merchant, because, um, I want to upgrade some shit before I actually take that room on. Unfortunately, as it turns out, the zealots out here respawn, which I guess I should have expected. But... Okay, that guy's dead. I'm not gonna waste any more shotgun shots. Okay, luckily he didn't spawn. Oh my god. Um, where is the nearest merchant? Is he like right outside here? Yeah, okay. All right, there he is. Welcome. Now, you want to know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fully got upgrade some rare everything I've got on. Me. What are you buying? Actually, for what are you selling? Sell them. Oh, I do have some. I do have. Is that old? <laughs> is that old, stranger? I said a couple of velvet blues, not one. Is that a couple of implies <laughs> two? Thank you. What are you or buying? Maybe a little more than that, because a lot of people tend to use a couple informally. <laughs> Thank you. All right, gonna upgrade that. Uh, unfortunately, very few of these weapons <laughs> have capacity upgrades available. Thank you. So... Now what the hell? Is that... Upgrade everything fully. <laughs> Thank you. 
I wasn't really considering... Well, actually, maybe I'll skip the firepower upgrade for the rifle, because... Is it? Is Thank you. Yeah, you know what? We're here. We might as well get it, and we might as well get everything Thank fully upgraded. You. Okay. All our guns are... What are you what? buying? Okay. Um, it says I can still upgrade the riot gun, but there's nothing for me to upgrade. Come back any time. But either way, uh, everything we've got on hand is fully upgraded now. Uh, which is good. Because I want to have as big of an advantage as I can get when heading into that fucking water room. Because that room can go fast. That is, um, possibly my least favorite room in this whole game. Yes, I'd seriously take the, uh, the fucking regenerator room over it. But either way, we won't tackle that till next time, because to be frankly honest, it was like 5 in the morning when I was recording this, and I didn't want to finish this now. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye